better micro, I guess. That's pretty Honestly, much it. Honestly, in terms of playstyles, Yo's playstyle is much less micro-oriented than a lot of the other top players. If you've ever actually watched him play, he's quite slow. And he relies a lot on the minimap because of his resolution. It's, it's what, 1366 times 768, which is oh very Oh my god, are you serious? Really? Yeah. It's really, yeah, really small. Yeah, he plays on a 15-inch laptop. So... Oh my god, he even plays on a laptop. That, that's like really, really small. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's what he's used to, and he can't fit a monitor in his dorm, apparently. I asked him about it. But if you've seen him stream, it's it's insane. Like, you look at it, and he's not very fast, actually. Huh? If you've watched him play, he's not a very fast player. Slam, on the other hand, if you've watched him stream, he is definitely one of the faster players. Yeah, so, yeah. I, when it comes down to Micro Wars and all of that, it's not necessarily Yo's strength. Uh -huh. He's very good at reacting because he'll see stuff really quickly when it pops up on his minimap. I think that's one of his strengths. And he also somehow manages to do these crazy strats that people don't expect or unexpected things. Mm -hmm. And that often works in his favor. A little less conventional. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit surprised to see Arabia again. It feels like um, Mr. Yo wants to prove himself or even a slam that uh, he can beat him on Arabia. He's not He's not going to give up uh, from getting a win on this map. Let's uh, check the maps a little bit. Looking at Yo's map, he does have a very open map here at the front. Look at this. I don't see any mm -hmm. walling possible. Uh, at this, uh, I don't know, Helene, it's just so open here at the front. He doesn't like walls anyway. He's he one of those like players, anyway. I don't know why. He's just, he stubbornly refuses to wall even when it's super easy to wall. Okay, well, on tournament matches, I I think he will do uh, himself the favor of walling, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, he has a very, know, very, very open map. I expect it. But on tournament, in some tournament games that I've watched, if it's not like super super large prize pools, he still won't wall. Okay. I've, I've watched it and I'm like, this is a super easy wall, he's gonna wall there and he proves me wrong. Okay. But oh. at least his map is decent this time with the main gold and no massive hill at the front that Slam can come in and control. That's true, he does uh, He does have a very open map, but three goals behind, three goals at the back of his uh, town, so that's mm -hmm. uh, pretty much good for him, I would say. Uh, those boards are both forward, but you know, guys, there is a no laming rule in this tournament, so he doesn't need to be afraid that uh, the boards will be stolen. I, I doubt Slam and Yo would lame each yeah. other anyway. Oh, and there he is doing it again, uh, shooting, yeah, oh my god. You. This it's is, phew, I, this, this just stops my heart, my stop, uh, heart stops beating for one second when I see this, oh my god, but well, it it seems like he's uh, trained on it, uh, as Elaine just, just told us. So. He's been doing this ever since the Nations Cup ended, actually. I saw it a lot on Nomad, at, at first I was like, maybe it's just a Nomad thing, because uh -huh. he doesn't want to get Loom, and it's Nomad, he wants to play safe or something, I don't know, okay. but he's been doing it on every map now. okay what, what still feels feels so risky to me even uh i don't know if you are playing a team game with a little bit of lag I, i'm not sure anyway we still didn't talk about slam's map uh, he has a ford gold himself in the shape of a t mm -hmm. or whatever this is and um also pretty he's got a pretty horrendous map also very very open map here the four at uh, the front uh, very bad second goal here just behind the forest and yeah, yeah, I'm more worried about the wood for Slam. If you look at it, he doesn't really have safe wood to take. There's that forest towards the left, but it's quite far away from the TC, and yes, it's kind of towards the back, but you're still very exposed. It's on a bit of a hill. It's just not a nice wood to be taking. And his, his first lumber camp where he's dropped it is probably the best position for him, but at yeah, the same time, it's still not optimal, the way yeah. his resources are spread out. Usually, if you want to be taking a forward wood, you want your gold to be nearby, so you have less areas to protect as such. He has his main gold and he's both his lumber camps apart and his berries aren't even close to that that close to his second lumber camp either so yeah. he's gonna have a lot of areas that yo can do damage to that's true uh, also walling will be a hard it is possible but it, it will be hard because the resources are so far away from each other look at the, these wood patches mm -hmm. all pretty much far away from each other so let's see maybe this is uh, the ideal ideal um, placement uh, of resources to have an aggressive game here since uh, Yo, Mr. Yo himself does not have, well, he does, he does have a good map, but not the optimal map be in terms of walling. No, or is he clicking up? He's clicking, he's trying to click up, but he can't click up. Well, does he have the or loom? No, he just rushing, needs to the loom. Yeah, he hit this loom and then he will be able, Why he's sending he villagers to gold. Early? 
He's going forward, For men, men at arms. arms. Men at arms, oh indeed. God. That's what I'm expecting as well. Uh, well, he's not gonna give up on the forward on this, it seems. And clicking <laughs> up, there he goes. Uh, Slam is gonna see this now. Uh, there is his scout. Uh, let me check his point of view. Uh, yeah, Slam just saw these villagers taking gold. Oh my god, is it stuck? No, it's not stuck. So the no, scout will get leave. Some yeah, yeah, scout, scout will leave. Uh, but yeah, um, there will be no acute. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, Slam uh, sees this, obviously. Uh, it, it's pretty much clear what's gonna happen here now. It's gonna be mad a turn for Mr. Yo. Let's see how Slam reacts to this. Will he go for archers instead? Maybe? Because uh, he knows there will be men at arms. Doesn't look like. Um, he went 21 pop up. There are no farms, so he will uh, try to go a scout. Or that was his plan, at least. Uh, I'm interested uh, because I would have thought he would maybe, maybe choose to go archers instead. But it doesn't look like that's what's gonna, uh, that's I don't, what gonna he's happen. He's not gonna have the economy to go archers either. I think he's just gonna try and deal with the, with scouts. And if he wants to do that, he's gonna be fast because once those militia become men at arms, then even scouts are very, very weak against them. As one of my friends once described these, men at arms are like the feudal age knights. Uh -huh. Very strong. <laughs> that's uh, that's a nice comparison indeed. Uh, I, I, I just see now that Slam missed uh, two of his sheep here. Uh, doesn't seem to have mm -hmm. disturbed him that much. Yeah, a stable is going down. He's uh, he's pretty much confident he can deal with this um, with just uh, scouts. And yeah, there is a four, uh, two wolves here. But yeah, he took took care of them. Just just uh, nice and easy. Uh, what do you think, Elaine? Because I, I don't see Mr. Yo fighting this uh, before he has a Man at Arms upgrade. So Slam, yeah, there it is, Man at Arms. So Slam will now have to fight Man at Arms. Um, yep. And a lot of Chinese commentators put a lot of emphasis on having Backstone. Because Chinese players actually, contrary to popular opinion, their favorite tactic is not just to wall, they like to forward. Um, <laughs> they also like to so forward, all right. Uh, look at yeah. this tower, I, I I don't think Slam is, uh, see, yeah, no, he will not see this tower. Uh, very nice push from here. Uh, Taking Slam's attention to the left side of the map, but at the same time doing something at the right side. Uh, one yeah, man at arm lose a man is at arms now, down. Yeah, I, I think uh, I don't know. Some poor that micro was bad here. Micro from yeah. Yo. Poor Slam mic really microed that well. He kited the men at arms around with his scouts, and he didn't do much damage. And look at that, Slam <laughs> saying fail. And uh, I, I don't know. So far, it looks like uh, a nice, nice job here. But such fast reaction from Slam, immediately moving uh, the his villagers away, not losing a single one. Amazing fast mm -hmm. reaction here by Slam. And yeah, you see these guys teasing each other, Slam, <laughs> saying he just failed yeah. again on the forward. Uh, le let's see, uh, this tower, if this tower, well, it uh, didn't, uh, it already achieved something, because a Slam needs to move his villagers all the way across the map. Look where he's going to get uh, his second uh, lumber camp. No, he's yeah, even but making... Yeah, he's going to lose his forward villagers now. He's lost uh, one of them already to Slam scouts. He's going to quickly wall himself in. Uh, that's not a complete wall, it's still open next to the forest, but for yeah, some reason still, Slam has decided here. just to go straight and attack Yo back at home. But the thing is, with the thing with Yo's plan here is that he doesn't actually need to make that many spears with the way his resources are positioned. He can also just wall in those villages on the gold, which is what he's done. So he only really needs a spearman to protect his uh, villages on maybe the wood line. He can yeah, fight scouts with bills anyway, and some of them are on low health. He does have both lumber camps next to each other. I, I reckon this can be an advantage sometimes because uh, then you have mm -hmm. lots of villagers at one place and you can fight off scouts better if you don't have any spears around. But he does have enough spears as well, so he doesn't need to worry about this. There, there it is. Slam with five scouts trying to put uh, some pressure on you here, trying to find spots to attack. Um, I'm not sure if he's gonna be successful with this because there are two spear. Let's see. Does he try? Is he gonna try to micro these spears yeah, out? Yeah, he's no. gonna micro away. Slam is very fast at reacting to this kind of stuff. Scout micro is one of Slam's strengths and that's why you'll see him often go for the full scouts in casual games. It's something he's comfortable with. But Yo already beginning the double archery range archer transition and as you can see Slam's being forced to drop a tower on his main gold. Yes, One thing I do like is. about Yo's forward style is he never he tries to never idle his villagers. Like he'll kill off deer, take some food, chop some wood, do something productive with them so they're not just sitting around doing nothing for some time. There it is, TC running non-stop. 
as Elaine just point, pointed out. Uh, Slam chooses to back away with scouts. Why would that be? Is he afraid of what is coming out of these archery ranges? Because I would have expected him to search for other places more... to attack on that wood. It's more that he can't do any damage to Yo because his scouts, what, two or three of them are on low health? Yeah, they're very low and... HP indeed. Yeah, there are two or three spears out. So part of the reason he... Oh my god, but these villagers will be cut off. Uh, will we be able yeah. to kill one of them? No, he no, needs two no, GP he, he because of the risk. archer ranges. Ooh, but yeah. that would be a big blow for Mr. Yo as well. He probably will now GP with these mm -hmm. villagers. No, he will not. One one of these uh, is very low HP already. Um, but having this tower here, I don't think Mr. Yo can do any damage whatsoever in this gold. We'll probably yeah. try to move to the wood line. I don't. I'm not sure, but there is a tower here, and. Uh, but uh, the scouts are going to go straight for the forward wheels again, and Yo's. Oh, there it is, and one scout. of them will die this time for sure. Yeah, there it is down. The second one seems like it will live for a little longer, uh, and yeah, a tower going up here. Uh, Slam immediately notices wow. this army of Mr. Yo moving in. A tower goes down here. Um, Mr. Yo can st still try to camp. No, he's not tried to camp the uh, the tower. And he does need to go away because there are some skirmishers chasing him away. Upgrades already for both players. The plus one range and attack. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Yo does have the heal here. But uh, there are scouts moving in as well. I, I don't see this army leaving for a lot longer, to be extremely honest to you. Skirms are mm -hmm. here, scouts are here. Both uh, scouts have no upgrades, but it's just not enough army to fight, fight scouts and skirmishers. This army will go down. Yeah, but there I think part of the reason Yo is doing this is he's forced Slam to throw up a lot of towers, he's forced Slam to take stone, and he's forced Slam to stay home and not harass him back himself back at home. So that's kind of a win for him. He did get wheelbarrow later than Slam, which is a bit of uh, a, a slight disadvantage. But now he's having to throw up towers back at home himself because Slam's going to be sending some skirmishes across the map and he's going to be making some scouts himself to deal with these skirmishes from Slam. Let me check that and okay. And just to answer the, our viewers, Arcton, the sieves are picked in this way. You just uh, it's hidden sieves throughout the whole tournament, and um, so that means everyone can pick whatever sieve they want to pick, and your opponent does not know which sieve you're gonna pick. So um, in the first game, it was a set Hans War, a set Arabian Hans War, but uh, from game one. Onwards, Ooh, everyone just picks. Take a bit of a hit. You see a massive army coming in from Slam. I don't think that tower's gonna. Ooh, but Yo's bringing so many more villagers and he's yeah. delaying Slam with that one spearman. I think the tower might just go up. Oh, and the walling, very is... smart. This walling might, might, might just do the job to protect that gold. Yeah, very nice and smart yeah. walling here. That gold is gonna be safe. But I was uh, finishing to uh, explain Arctan. So the first game is Raven Hunts 1. And the other games, it, it's just hidden saves. Players can pick whatever they want. Uh, in the meanwhile, some uh, simultaneous raiding happening here. Oh wow, nice place for uh, Mr. Yo here at the back of the wood. Uh, forces Slam to move his villagers away. Didn't kill a single villager yeah, he though. He also picked a vill on a farm a little earlier. But it looks like we're going to see full... F well, Slam's dropping two extra archery rangers and he's up to Castle Age and Yo hasn't clicked yet. So Slam is still in a better position. Yeah, Misa is not too too far off. It seems like he will. Yeah, he just managed to click himself. Um, so yeah, no. Seems like both of these players will fight it out on Castle Age. At this point, I don't mm -hmm. see a massive advantage. Slam does have the advantage, but look no, at the villagers' the numbers. Thing is, Yoda pretty pretty have even. Anything to clear up the army from Slam right now? I think that's a bit of a problem for him. And he doesn't have the same number of towers that Slam has up protecting his economy. Towers from Slam are really restricting where Yo can do damage. Correct, and I see two stables from Mr. Yo here. Let's uh, is what is Slam doing? Slam goes for the archery ranges, so it's probably going to be knights against cavalry archers, at least at the beginning of mm -hmm. Castle Age. Um, he does he, he's really harassing a few farmers here, Mr. Yo. Even if he cannot kill any villagers. Oh my God! But look, check your army, man. You're dying here. Just uh, and he's also so close to the TC. I think he's just uh, missed this. What? Oh man. Bad, He's bad busy for trying you to here. Drop a tower in his wood back at home, trying to fend from the army from uh, Slam. From Slam. And Slam yeah. having Yo off stone is also a bit of a problem for Yo. It means he can't throw up any more towers to defend himself. So, 
And there it is, Castle Age 4 Slam. I do see the crossbow upgrade going on. I still don't see the plus 2 upgrade attack, but that will be made soon enough, I'm sure. Um, this villager might suffer. Well, I don't know. There is a tower here. Uh, will Slam try to camp? No, he just moves away. He does no, not want to fight us. He's just trying us. to uh, idle those villagers as much as possible, but you can see how much damage this Slam's done just by keeping those villagers idle. And instead of having like a 600 food count, Yo instead has like a 600 wood count in Castle Age, despite wanting to go knights, and he's only getting the Bloodlines upgrade now that he's hit Castle Age as well. Oh, and that's really not good because he can only do one knight then at the time, and he does need the uh, numbers to fight off this army. I reckon two knights would be enough to kill this off, but still. Uh, does Slam see what Mr. Yo is doing? Yeah, he does see the two stables now, at least. He does see uh, Mr. Right, Yo is going for knights. So that's probably early the best. To try and deal with it. Yeah, that's probably he the best thing he could do. Yeah, it's he doesn't have much of a choice because he wasn't able to farm because he was kept off the top side of his base, and he keeps losing villagers on the gold to this army from Slam though. It just that's another two dead villagers. Such a nice job by Slam here, with a small number of army doing such huge damage here. Uh, these knights mm -hmm. do not have the plus to defense, but um, since there are so many skirms there, he will be able to fight these ones off. Um, another patch of army coming here, but yeah, I think Slam chooses to back away, as he probably saw in Mr. Yo's knights, and uh, one or two knights would be able to deal with this. Uh, but now is the time to do damage, Mr. Yo. Do send some archers to Slam. That, that's, um, he needs to put some damage uh, on, on I Slam now. I don't know if he can afford to. I mean, Slam's now got super mobile raiding units in the Cav Archers with Bodkin and plus one armor. He doesn't have bloodlines yet, but he doesn't really need it since he's just going to be trying to harass from the side, kill off a few villagers here and there, idle a few other villagers here and there, and Yo can't really do anything to stop this. I mean, in terms of raiding units, Cav Archers are much better. They are a nice much better really indeed. Fighting. He does uh, have a mangonel at home, which he could try to scare off. But there he goes, some nice raiding again on the goal, again losing units here. But such an awesome job by Slam here. I don't know why didn't you have any army there, because that uh, was the expected place to attack, right? Uh, he needs to move yeah. in with his mangonel, maybe. Because I don't know if these these knights, I he's think they will go down. Nice. Yeah, I, be GG yeah, yeah, he's got a down because they do not have the plus two defense upgrade and uh, cavalry archers with bloodlines and with plus two attack. They're so so, so strong and um, some are raving such he has a so death. many as well he's so much army right now and yo doesn't have any extra tcs he's just got the single mangonel because he didn't have the stone to drop any extra tcs slam's got three tcs up and running yeah and he's he got tries to races. fight off these but it's just too, too many units with bloodlines these knights are gonna go down very very fast the mangonel is down and still such huge numbers and yo is left with two knights and that's it no mangonel no nothing he doesn't have stone for he sees. Um, he does have a few towers, but uh, Cavalry Archers with these bloodlines have great. They can tank uh, a whole lot of damage from the from the towers, to be extremely honest. And I see uh, that's also the other problem for Mr. Yo. He is doing skirms, but they need to walk all the way through uh, Slam's base to get to his own base, since he doesn't have uh, any uh, archery ranges at home. And there you go. The last knight yeah. is down for Mr. Yo. I thought not going to do anything because Slam is now transitioning to into a few knights because he's seen the skirms walk across through the tower line of sight, and he's now making knights in his single stable back at home. He only needs to make a few to deal with the skirmishes anyway. Oh my god, and you see the market. When you see a market going down at this point, that means trouble for the player doing it. And some oh, awesome raiding again line. here at the wood line. Look at this attacking everywhere. Mr. Yo doesn't know where to look to because he's just being attacked all over the place. The skirmishers are there. Uh, maybe Slam needs to um, split his army to make the cavalry archers just go away faster. I don't know. Uh, still, in the meanwhile, uh, some more cavalry archers waiting here, close to the wood line, uh, waiting for the opportunity to attack the wood again. Well, he maybe will fight this off. Seems like Slam is not micring. Uh, yeah, he might lose this. I don't think he's too fast right now. He's uh, just gonna continue keeping Yo off yeah, the wood. Yeah, at and the harass. same time, look at this raiding at the wood. So many villagers dead here. Just impressive place by Slam. So fast. <laughs> and as Elaine pointed out already, three TCs full running at his base, and uh, this is just uh, an incredibly tough tough uh, spot for uh, Mr. Yo from here. Look at the villager count. It's, uh, what <laughs> what are these? 27 villagers difference, almost 30 at this point, because Slam does have three TCs 
up and running. The second TC is going up for Mr. Yo now, but it, it might just be too late. He doesn't have enough army. Artillery ranges are so far away to do the skirms needed to fight this off. And I don't even see and how many wood yeah. choppers does he have at this point, like Plan five? bringing in those knights, and he's Yo's desperately trying to protect the gold and the wood together with that one TC, but it's not enough. And yes, he's he's going to force Slam away with his elite skirms for now, but if you look at the population, Slam is double Yo's population. Yeah, no no less than double population, look at this. And while uh, when Mr. Yo thought, okay, now I can finally collect some wood, no can do, sir. Look at this army for Slam here, just waiting to block him some more from wood just a very very tough spot from mr yo from here on and look at this whole army of cavalry archers waiting here at the uh, south and there's just no army from mr yo which can stop this he does have a few skirms but uh, slam himself has a few knights here with bloodlines and plus one upgrade so i i, I think these skirms will die very very fast uh, he's trying to complete the third TC, but Slam will catch it up. Uh, I think he will deny this TC and then it will be the GG. That, that, that's my bet here. Uh, look at this. Yep. Those knights are gonna clean up those the, skirms. Uh, the, skirm, the knights can just go straight to the skirms and the cavalry archers fire at the villagers. Uh, maybe. Slam. Yeah, there you go. Firing at the villagers. Uh, these knights will not uh, die to a few elite skirmishers. There it goes. Such, oh my god, such such a hard spot. And that's a GG. Uh, just no, no, no chance. Second Arabian map and second failed attempt at a forward, so to speak, from uh, Mr. Yo. Um, I, I don't know, Helena. Did it come uh, down just to better microphone slam on this one? Uh, yes, the men at arms, Yo just threw them away. Uh, you can't really. He was fighting against about six villagers and three scouts with three men at arms, and it, it just didn't work out. I don't know why he chose to do that. It was a very bad move. And once he lost the men at arms, he lost a lot of power in his forward. And he didn't even make any spears to go forward, knowing that maybe, knowing that Slam was probably going scouts. Men at arms are strong, but he got outmassed by so much. And he just lost him it so just, fast, his men at arms, right? I, yeah. I mean, it was a nice, uh, nice thing to have the men at arms, but uh, he just lost him mm -hmm. so, so fast. So I, it kind of felt yeah. like uh, it was um, a bad micro there from from uh, from uh, Mr. Not Yo. Not the best micro from yeah. Yo in these past two games for sure. Um, but if you've ever watched him play, sometimes I watch and then he ends up playing like ten Nomad games in a row with the same person because he keeps losing them and he just continues doing the same thing but different variations of it until he somehow some eventually wins. But yeah. I'm hoping we're not going to see the same thing over and over and over again. 